The innovation of a reusable space shuttle came with the demands of maintaining it. Like taking a car in for an oil change, the space shuttle needed ongoing maintenance to keep it in good working order. Can you imagine the size of the garage needed to work on the shuttle? High-tech garages called orbiter processing facilities allowed crew on scaffolds and walkways to reach all surfaces needing repairs. Harsh conditions during launch, in space, and during re-entry take a toll on the space shuttle. Being in space is, is actually very traumatic to a vehicle like the space shuttle, like the orbiter, uh, because the tiles are so fragile. Every mission, every time we'd fly, we would get a great deal of damage. Now, when I say damage, you and I could look at that with, with our naked eye and think it looked fine. But remember, the engineers are looking at it sometimes with a 10x microscope or a magnifying glass. They're looking for any little dimple, dent, scratch, anything. A major part of processing was preparing for the next mission. If you're going from a station mission to, say, resurfacing the Hubble telescope, then there's a lot of changes you have to make, pulling out different hardware, putting new hardware in, doing rewiring. There is a payload in the payload bay, we'll, we'll take that out, and then we start reconfiguring the payload bay. Then we can look at installing whatever small payload, large payload, whatever there is. Once the orbiter receives full clearance for the next mission, it moves to the Vehicle Assembly Building. This is one of the largest buildings in the world. The orbiter vehicle is carefully hoisted into a vertical position to be mated to the external fuel tank and solid rocket boosters. This configuration is sometimes referred to as the shuttle stack. Our goal was always to process the vehicle safely but as quickly as we could to get it turned around because the main goal was to get it back into space so it could do its job. Um, and so procedures are written that way. But that was all about using the innovation of it being a reusable vehicle and what do we need to do to continue to allow this vehicle to fly in space and, and be useful to us.